How to use shower curtains other than in the bathroom. Hey guys, Cedar Essentials here. Now you have to agree that there are some designs on shower curtains that are really pretty and you wish you had them somewhere else. Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you all how I use shower curtains on this bathroom wall and on other items in the home. So with this shower curtain, I'm going to cut it into two and attach it to foam boards because this is going to go up in a rented apartment. So I'm going to cut it into two and attach it to foam boards before attaching it to the wall. I actually had this attached on one side of the wall in the bathroom and on the other side. Now this bathroom is a whole video of a bathroom makeover and I'm gonna share with you all just a short clip of the entire process. I'll be covering up this big mirror by using wooden boards over it. I'll be decorating this board before attaching it over the mirror. I'll repeat the process again to cover up the patches. The next day when it was dry, this is what it looked like. And now for the back, I had to prep it in such a way that it will be able to fit around the mirror in a safe way since it is a rented apartment. And don't worry guys, there will be a mirror over what I've just made, but a smaller mirror. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the lighting that will be on the board. And there will also be a full list of all the items used for the project in the description box below as well. The next step was to cover up the top of the vanity and other areas around the doors. I also made extra storage for the bathroom. Like I said earlier, the link for the full tutorial video was going to be down in the description box below. This is what all the DIYs look like together, including the shower curtain wall. This is a small bathroom, but as you can see, it's been transformed into something totally different. And apart from the middle, the other sides of the wall has been covered with shower curtains. The next DIY is going to be how to use shower curtain to cover up an old dresser.
I'm going to prep this before painting by sanding it down lightly, cleaning it, and then using a paint that has primer in it so that way I don't have to paint a primer over it before using a paint. It comes with a paint and primer. So I'm just going to be applying it and I'll be giving three coats to the overall body of the dresser and the drawers as well. I used three coats of the paint and primer on the body of the dresser and the drawers as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and make knobs for the drawer with wooden toy cubes that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to attach this where the old knob used to be. I'm going to be adding extra embellishments on the drawers using Dollar Tree trays. I'll be attaching these to the sides of the drawers with a strong adhesive. And now for the shower curtain, what I did was to have it spread out on all of the drawers and cut it in such a way that the pattern will flow before attaching them individually on each and every one of the drawers. I'm going to go ahead now and attach the knobs. 
The silver design at the sides has an open space here at the top and at the bottom and that's not good for the eye and it's not safe either so I cover that up with gems. I'm going to use mirror mosaic tiles on these open spaces here and also by the sides of the silver embellishment. I'm going to go a little bit further and curve the mirror mosaic tiles more to the inside so that it will look much better. Now here's the final look of the dresser and it has a really cute artistic look to it now and it has been customized to suit a glamorous style. The pattern on the shower curtain made it look like it was painted on the dresser, but it wasn't. Hey, it saved me the stress of painting even if I wanted to replicate the exact design. I just glued it on to the existing dresser after painting it white. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.